Hi everybody, welcome to another video. Today we have the Lenovo IdeaPad 3 with an SSD upgrade. Here's what we're going to be using today. A USB, an M.2 screw kit, plastic pry tools, the M.2 SSD, and a PH1 screwdriver. So if you do want to clone or image for the data transfer from the hard drive to the SSD, feel free. Uh, somebody requested that I show them how to do a clean install. So that is why we have an USB and we are going to create our Windows 10 bootable installer. So I plugged in the USB. I'm on my web browser right now. I'm going to look for Windows 10 media creation tool. And then we are going to go to Microsoft.com. Now we are going to do the download tool now. And that's going to download. If you are going to do a clean install, I do highly recommend creating a backup at least, just in case. So now that we have the tool downloaded, we are going to run it and we are going to install it. So make sure to read the terms and then click accept when you are ready. Now we select the Create Installation Media, which includes the USB flash drive. So I'm going to go Next. I'm going to go Next. And then I'm going to select the flash drive, of course. And then we are going to use the Samsung flash drive, which we just plugged in. So this is going to take a few minutes. Once it's complete, you are going to get notified that the flash drive is ready to go. And then you just press finish. And it's going to do a little bit of cleaning. All right. Now we can close and shut down the computer and remove the flash drive. Now let us remove the 10 screws to get to the SSD. So the first four screws are short screws. This is along the speakers. So right here. I'm also going to take a photo like I did in the last video to show you the order of the screws in which they were removed by row. So in the second row, we have three screws. And we also have three in the third row. Next, we want to use our plastic pry tools. So here are the screws, by the way. Okay, so now we have our plastic pry tools. So usually I just kind of just go around, make multiple passes, and then the laptop starts to open up. Definitely take your time. So I ha we have opened up this laptop before, so it's not as hard as it was in the beginning, as the previous one. And voila, here's the bottom cover. Now we want to disconnect our battery. So I'm just going to gently pull on the middle and then I'm the sides as well to loosen it up. There we go. So let me get you a better look at the connector. So I was pulling here a little bit and then I was pulling on the left and right sides as well. Just gently until the battery was disconnected. Alright, now we have our head hex screw, a washer, and a flat head screw. So this is from the M.2 screw kit. So I'm going to grab the head hex screw. I also believe it's called a head hex jack screw. I could be wrong. So I'm just going to hand tighten it in this spot right here. Now 
Now I'm going to grab the washer and put it on top. Next, we grab our M.2 SSD. I align the notches and gently put it in. I'm going to push it down gently and secure it using our flat head screw. Awesome. Now we grab our plastic pry tool and reconnect the battery. You can use your hands too or another tool if you'd like. For me it's just easier when I use the plastic pry tool to reconnect the battery. So I'm going to try to align it here. I don't want to force it in. Beautiful. Now that the battery is reconnected, we can put back the bottom cover. Let's gently close it up. Let's get our 10 bottom screws and secure the laptop. So I'm starting off on the third row. We got three screws. Second row has another three. And the first row has four short screws. Awesome. Now that we have that done, let us plug in our flash drive and turn on the power. So I'm going to hold down the FN and F12 keys to enter the BIOS. So you heard that beep. Now since I couldn't use the capture card, I used my phone to take a photo. I'm going to select the Samsung flash drive because that is what we use as the USB. Now it's going to boot up Windows 10. I'm going to press next. I'm going to go install now. So you definitely want to be careful. You want to read over the terms and press accept when you're ready. So like I said, um, we're going to go custom. Definitely back up your data if you're not sure. Or um, you know, let a professional do it. So like I said, I'm going to, going to custom. I'm going to start deleting these partitions. So these partitions, except the bottom one, I'm going to delete them all. I'm going to also, let me put up a photo to, to let you know what it looks like. So we're only going to have two unallocated partitions left. Delete this. Yeah, that's why I highly recommend backing up your data. Or imaging it or cloning. No, but uh, somebody wanted me to do a fresh install and that is what I am showing everybody today. So the bottom one is the M.2 SSD and the top one is our hard drive, both on unall unallocated space. So I'm selecting drive one and I'm going to press new because that is the SSD. That's where we want to install our Windows 10. I'm going to do apply. So it's going to create more partitions. And the Windows 10, we are going to put in the primary. So now next, the install was actually pretty quick. It only took like a minute and, and Windows 10 was already installed. And then once it's done, uh, you're going to get Cortana and then you do the usual Windows 10 setup. So after you set it up, I want to show you how we are going to format the original hard drive, the 5400 RPM, we want to be able to use that. So I'm going to go to create and format hard disk partitions. So now you can see here the unallocated space from earlier, I'm going to right click that new simple volume. 
I'm gonna go next, next, and then I'm gonna go next, and then I'm just gonna rename it 5400 HD so that I know it's a 5400 RPM hard drive. But it's really up to you. And then I'm gonna press finish. It's gonna format. All right. So let me open it up and let me show you guys what it looks like in the this computer part. Let's see where is it? In this PC, we have the 5400 hard drive right there. 931 gigabytes are free. So here's this um, crystal disk mark test. So there's definitely a big difference in read and write speeds. The SSD is definitely much faster as you can see and the boot up is so much quicker. And then you can see here, here's the crystal disk info. Keep in mind that the M.2 does get hotter compared to the regular hard drive. That's one of the perks of the hard drive is that it has a cooler temperature. Usually, you know, the SSD is more, um, it's a lot faster though. But yeah, that is pretty much it. So I do hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Take it easy.